All right, folks, let's get some bait. Now, um, as I sort of mentioned, this is the first time doing this, so no idea what's going to work, but I think to start off with, we'll just try some filters. So, today we're trying something that we've never done before. Um, now that we've got our fresh, brand new, like, navigation lights, we're gonna do a night session. Um, this is a method of catching mullalai that we're gonna employ today. Um, it was taught to me by a very old, wise man who has had a lot of success doing this, but I unfortunately am not him, so I don't have big expectations for tonight. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna use his method. Um, we're going to maybe catch some jewfish and bull sharks. Fingers crossed that kind of like class of fish. Um, but just for fun, so we've also got like a little rig. We might catch some brim, flathead, that kind of stuff on. Um, I've only done two proper night sessions. Uh, yeah, so fingers crossed this works. I know I know the technique works. I've seen the results, but it hasn't worked for me. So. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff I still need to learn, but hopefully tonight we're gonna figure out a little bit of that. Walk you through a few of the rigs we're running. That was a tongue twister. I'll walk you through a few of the rigs we're running today. So on this rod, we have a snail rig, pretty standard snail rig. Uh, we have a running sinker rig on this one with a much more size hook for your brim and things like that. We have a hard body, which, there we go which we'll be throwing just to try and catch some tailor or salmon or that sort of more bait stuff. And then in case we keep getting taken off by uh, by sharks, we've got a massive hook here with some steel trace to see what keeps biting us off. And yeah, they're the, they're the rigs. All right, folks, so we're at a location uh, within the Shoalhaven. And the bait we're going to be using to start off with today, oh, the only bait we've got, is pilchard. So, Denise is going to start off with a running sink rig while I try and flick and catch some bait. I hope I don't drift into anything. Um, do you want the head or the tail? Oh, the head. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say the tail. Oh, I'm not good at the head. So I'm pretty much just feeding that hook through, just like that, breaking it off. Some people cut it, I prefer to sort of smoosh it, because I find that way you get more surface area, more scent. And that is pretty much it. I might take the head off, just so it's like, ah, oh, look at that, good bit of early. So there's, that's what she's working with. It's a bit mushed and mangled, but she's not really casting out too much. She's just sort of dropping it down to the bottom. All right. Madame. There you go, folks. Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to drop it out the back and hopefully any pups that are hungry might come along and smack it. That's not too close to you, is it? Uh, I'll put my rod tip down. We got one hit on the hard body and so far one hit on the bait, but we're gonna go drift through a 20 meter-ish spot. So I'm gonna switch up to a snail rig with a whole pilchard while Denise dishes her smaller rig there. Hopefully, uh, I'll put it down just in case we hook on or something like that. Play it around the boat. Hopefully this is the one that produces. So, the way I'm rigging this up, I'm grabbing a whole pilchard, taking this top hook, putting it 
Ugh, right through its nose. That's your anchoring point. And then with this one, I'm gonna put it in about there, I think. Put it through. Put it through again. And to be fair, uh, oh, see, that's terrible. Way too big of a look there, but that's all right. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I saw a guy on YouTube do this. So that's how I'm gonna rig up my bait. Lots of bugs. There is. I can't see where we are. There's something trying to light my face. Oh. <laughs> I, think, I think this is the target species. Yeah? That or an eel. <laughs> Alright folks, I've got a whole poultry on. It's been raining for a little while. And we've just hooked onto something. It's a good fish. I don't know what it is, but it smacked the whole poultry. I don't think it's... I don't think it's a mulloway. It did one run. I think this might be an eel. Really? Yeah, it's got a bit of weight to it, but I think that's what we're looking at. Oh. No, it's a Jew. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. get him. <laughs> get him. Oh, geez, <laughs> on the big car. And we were just going on a rant about how terrible this night was. <laughs> yeah, because we, we haven't, haven't gotten a single bite, but this fella's just come along and we've, taken a whole pilchard. We've been out for, oh, sorry, I should be helping you. No, it's all right. Holding on to my rod. Um, yeah, I think this is like two hours now on the boat. <laughs> well you. done. Thank you, wise old man. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. Happy with that. Yeah, he just smacked it and ran. I didn't even have to strike. Very lazy Jew. Fought like an eel, but I'll tell you what, that was exciting. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, that was close. God. Helicopter. Finger through the thumb. Finger through the thumb? Yep. <laughs> nice. Why do you use scissors? Oh yeah, that'd be smart, wouldn't it? Get this out the way. Really nice hook up too. Yep. Hey, come on, let's go. Holy! Are you okay? Uh, yep. Did that go through? It did. A little bit, but that's okay. What? Oh, he snapped me off. Yeah. He snapped me off my yeah, That oh, That, that really could have hurt. turned into a bad night. <laughs> Oh well, you can't you can't catch a jew and be unhappy. Oh, that did hurt though. Heck yeah! <laughs> it worked. Yeah, if you still so it probably comes enough. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it worked. Night fishing for jew. Very nice. Yeah, I just want to be careful how I hold this fella. Yeah. Still need jewy grunt. Do you want to get? A yeah, I'll get thumbnail photo. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> Does it look big? No. <laughs> I, I don't know how I can. That's alright. Just pose with it. Oh, yeah, perfect. I'm taking some photos. All right, when you're ready, we'll record the release. Yep. Cool. Heck you yes. You could probably put on your this. True. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of sort of a few expletives there in my excitement. There yeah. you go. So that this is literally my first time ever trying this technique. We got one bite back upstream a bit. Um and yeah, well me and Denise were just talking about how like oh it's so many hours, haven't gotten a single bite, this isn't working. And then my rod tip didn't get a bite, just doof, straight down. Mm. and hooked onto a Dewey. Not the biggest Dewey, didn't even measure him. It would have been like, what do you reckon, 50? Yeah, yeah. 50? Yeah. So, still a soapy, but oh, folks, it it feels good when it works. <laughs> like, we put in a lot of effort, and, well, not really, but we put in a decent amount of effort, saw no results, um, and then, yeah, it worked. It worked. That's very exciting. So we've learnt a few things from that. But the 10 pound braid is barely enough. Like that was a 50 centimetre Dewey and he snapped the hook off of my finger. Which still hurts, by the way, but worth it. Um, 
So I'm thinking we beef up the braid a little bit. But yeah, like that snail rig with whole pilchard works like a treat. Like he smacked it hook up easy as. Um, yeah, it was caught on that bottom hook, which is interesting, but fine. Um, yeah, I think we rinse and repeat until we catch something bigger. I reckon that's it. I reckon we just keep going, keep honing our technique. Interesting, he went for the larger bait over the over the um, small one that Denise had. But yeah, no, that was that was heckin' awesome. Okay, is that? Woo! <laughs> All right, folks, well, after the lock we just had, I decided to come flick a hard body around some structure. He hooked onto something. I suspect an EP, but he got off. So I'm just hoping I can pick up something again. So I'll probably send me a question. I was on, but I lost him. What is right, it? Folks, little oh. There you go. Little Very nice. Um, uh -oh. And he's picked up rather nicely there on that hard body. Oh, sugar. There you go, that's two fish for this night session. Very nice. And the way I picked him up was... Sorry. The way I picked him up was just on this little guy here. Can you see? And I threw it right into the slack water over there. Good fish? Oh, it's not, it's not amazing. Oh, that's what I thought about mine. Yeah, we'll release this guy. It's all busted up, folks. It's all happening. Um, Just quickly. There we go. So I can bring the line over to you. Yeah, I'll try and net. I'll net the fish first, and then oh, we'll okay. deal with the tangle. Because it doesn't look like it's impeding yet. It's, it's not big, so it's not. Okay, EP, you think? Uh, it might be. It feels very similar to. Oh, I see it. Flatty, I think. Yeah. Not bad, Flatty. Do you want to bring it over? Yeah. yeah. And now we can... Nice! Now we can deal with that tangle. Well, it's all happening, folks. We got tangles, we got AP, we got this flatties. Caught a fish at night time, Denise. What was your strategy? Oh, oh gosh, he's proper swallowed it. Oh. No strategy. I was just holding the rod and filming you. Fair enough. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> Got hit. Well done, Maxie. And that is an even better outcome for that fish than I thought we were going to get. <laughs> All right, do you want me to record the release? Yeah, just be careful with the. Yeah, I will be. Oh, you, my friend, are a lucky flatty. This fish hit this so, so softly. I thought it was like a two centimeter brim, but I'm onto him now. Not a lot of weight. It might be a two centimeter brim. <laughs> but, but isn't that a whole pilchard? It is a whole pilchard, so that's what I'm thinking. Oh, it's oh. flooding. It's been hooked in the side. Oh, oh wherever it flies. They should be in the box. Oh gosh, that's a nasty hookup. Oh. It looks quite grievous, but fish can heal. Bloody a lot. I'm just cautious. I don't want to have a repeat of what happened last time. Jeez, really. There we go. Well, no pilchard left. Yeah. And there was a flatty on my hook. I wonder if he's like gone for that. And then when I was struck, like, 
because a fish had chewed out all the middle of my pilchard. So I wonder if the bottom bit had actually broken off and he's gone for the top bit. And then when I've struck, this bottom one has been what's hooked into there. So if you have a look, that lines up pretty well. I wonder if this has happened. Good but theory. A fish is a fish. That's Mulloway. Oh, sorry, I've seen a lot of seeking Oh, sorry. sorry. That's a, a Mulloway, an EP, and two flathead in that order. Mm. Very I dark. had the bigger flathead. I had the bigger Jewish. <laughs> 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 He should heal up from that nicely. That should be a worry for him. I, I just put the hooks on a fish and it was by far the biggest of the night. That, oh, yeah, it just pulled the hooks. When, when I was catching kingies out in Bateman's Bay, um, on this rod actually, like they would just smack it, looked it to go into the water and run. There's nothing to do to stop me. That was like that. So my rod tip straight down ran and I just pulled the hook. Oh, bummer. That was a really big fish. That was... I might have to put a, a whole pilly on because you're getting a load of bites on that one. Yeah, I think it's because it's extra scent. It was just while I was winding up too. I yeah. just wound in like two or three times. It was coming up in the wall comment. It got smacked. That was a really... Oh, man. Dada. -da. That, that, you know... My, that was a bigger hit than my biggest mulloway, which I caught up that way a bit um, a few years ago now. That would have been a PB, I'm very sure. Like, and you know, some fish will hit it hard at the start and then sort of die off, but I felt the weight of that, I felt the run. It could have been a stingray, it is possible, but if it was a jewel, it would have been my biggest by a long shot. Oh, bother. It wasn't an eel, because eels don't run. All right, folks. Well, unfortunately, we had to call it there. Uh, a storm rolled in. It's, yeah, it's one o'clock. Storm rolled in. We had, like, rain as well. You probably see for yourself. This is the aftermath of it, but, yeah, still not great. Um, we had rain, like, heavy winds and all that sort of stuff just came in. So we've called it. Um, but awesome session. There will definitely be, definitely be a part two. So stay tuned for that.